Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutzarot. And this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising. A weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again, I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for a Capricorn star sign. And uh, for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a, in a different way and as well in a, a different uh, level with every single different Capricorns. So uh, if you want more personal touch, however, meaning your personal situation to be uh, analyzed by me through Tarot, this is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to the Capricorn uh, spread for the week, the first card that Capricorn uh, has, which is the topic of their week, this is going to be the Emperor, followed by the second card, which is the things that you should not do regarding the topic here, that is to be the Seven of Wands. The third card that we do have, that is the positive approach toward the situation, that is to be the Temperance. And the last card that we do have, that is the final outcome of growth, which is the Five of Swords. All right. So once again, the Emperor, followed by the Seven of uh, Wands. Then it is the um, Temperance card. And the last one, this is going to be the Five of Swords. So to me, how it looks like, guys, is that this is the week where you have to shine, especially talking about career uh, incorporation and career development. That is the week where you show yourself capable. Uh, <clears throat> it does look like, however, that uh, the whole performance or the project given or uh, in general, you know, the advance forward may contain some um, some criteria or some actions that you may not find very, very enthralling, uh, aggravating to be attended to, that is. But at, uh, at the grand scheme of things, you know, you, you basically have to do everything that is needed, meaning of uh, that you can't have the light without the darkness, if I may say that way, or if there is no darkness, you can't define what light is or vice versa. Anyway, going to the first card here, which is the Emperor. It does look like the throughout this week is going to be a, a very, uh, or rather like a week where you are to be deprived from many unexpected circumstances which are to ruin your situation either career-wise or either relationship-wise throughout the week uh, you are to present yourself very reliable regarding career and not just regarding career as well guys but as well uh, regarding relationship and uh, you will present yourself as a solid choice for the task ahead so if you are looking for a job for example going to a job interview you are to make the impression that you are the guy um, interacting with someone with a um, you know prerequisite to make a relationship you are to make the impression that you are the person the thing is however that this week needs to go uh, or needs to develop itself through a, a very solid structure and solid plan but we talk about the emperor it's all about structuring your things structuring your actions or your plans as well your strategies in general uh, therefore uh, kind of hoping that things are gonna change or that something is to appear uh, you know on the horizon that you can make a use of it's not a standpoint that you should adopt here but if you want to chase something a certain career or a certain person throughout this week you need to rely on the already existing um, means and resources that you do have like your presence you know like your capabilities and so on and so forth but with the emperor the very least for throughout the week capricorn you are to uh, regain your balance all right you are to regain your control over your life it is because i know a capricorn that recently you know lost a job 
you know, I'm very sorry of you for you. Uh, it does look like with the Emperor that you are to restore this missing piece here with the Emperor. So if you lost something, guys, throughout this week, it is where you regain back control over your life, like finding a job, like finding a suitor and so on and so forth. And at the very least, you know, structuring, structuring your duties and responsibilities in a, such a way that there will be a, a little close to none room for making a mistake. Additionally to that, <clears throat> Should you go with a, uh, a well-established plan further into the week, it does look like that also you are to clear some room for yourself. That is another aspect from the Emperor. If you are systematic and consistent, then definitely you are going to have some time to pay attention to your own personal needs as well. The additional card that is to be the Emperor's deformation here is active neutrals. And uh, as I said, that you may not have very appealing things to do throughout the week, but they are going to be a vital part of the, of the, for the success of the responsibilities or the tasks at hand. It is what you got to do as well. These cards also are pointing that you detaching from the situation in a sense of that when things are start becoming serious, you know, and uh, you are feeling a little bit kind of like overburdened. It's the, the right word is not overburdened, but let's say you get enough of it. Just throwing everything aside, you know, throwing everything against the wall and, and walking away, you know, searching for a, a moment or a, a place of peace. It is not something you got to do. Your presence needs to be constant into your relation, into your situation, either career wise or relationship wise, because the matter is going to be very important. Now, looking at these cards, the situation could be that you have been entrusted with a very important project you know, a project at your career that's, uh, it's kind of like, it does require as well some sort of a, um, you being discreet, okay? And uh, basically you should not uh, abandon the project nor for a second, but you need to constantly exert your presence into it. Same thing goes into your relationship life. You know, you want to be with someone, you constantly need to remind them that you are around and that you um, can handle things, all right? So you are the solid choice. Once again, detaching yourself from the midst of activity to make an accurate decision or something like this. It's not something you want because these cards are pointing that you already made your decision back in the past. Bailing out um, on it, it is not an option available unless you don't want to suffer failure from such presented situation. The uh, second card here, which marks the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Seven of uh, Wands. And in this case, the Seven of Wands does represent um, the, uh, how you say it in English when you think that something it's uh, it's meant to uh, something is meant to destroy you kind of being suspicious you know being suspicious to the undertaking for example uh, as I said your boss entrusts you with a very important project and you are suspicious that it is more than it is and actually they are giving you that project so they can have you know the reason to get rid of you something like this right or someone kind of approaches you seeing you that you are the guy for a possible future relationship and you are uh, suspicious toward it thinking that they just want to have fun with you and so on and so forth so that is a standpoint that you should not adopt and additionally to that, once again, this card confirms the lack of initiation, hoping that the right moment is going to come around, but you waiting patiently into the shade is not going, to, it should not be your standpoint. Now is the time of action. Your moment, it is with the start of the week and not any time later than that. So basically, with the Seven of Wands, guys, um, how can I place it? you have to stop paying attention to the peripheral uh to the peripheral circumstances what someone is going to say about you you know how someone would react on your actions uh what someone how someone is going to feel you know from your actions as well for example that project is given to you and you are more 
prone to contemplate on the um, on the feeling of your coworker that the project haven't been given to them instead of really investing the full attention and the full devotion you are capable of to the project itself because with the emperor this undertaking this agenda this uh, the, the, kind of like this process of regaining and maintaining your control systemizing and structuring making your future more predictable and insured is as i said going to require your full devotion you should not uh, abandon this enterprise nor for a, a second the additional card here which is uh, four of pentacles the catalyst the formation is active neutrals it does point that you need to adopt a defensive measures regarding this thing so as soon as that thing happens that you uh, that gives you the opportunity to present yourself reliable strong and 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 basically capable you have to hang for it and not allow anybody to jeopardize that situation further furthermore um acting on secure it's much more uh, it's going to be a much more beneficial than taking huge risks that is because the four of uh, pentacles it is how one sits on already uh, proven concepts and it is what you got to do if you want to overcome the seven of wands the formation here shows that the more you lean to the four of pentacles the less negative the seven of wands becomes into this formation therefore here is the answer you know you got to establish your comfort zone upon that enterprise either a person that you can interact with or a, a project a job or a new job for that uh, for that matter uh, for example if this is a, about a new job you know you started and now it's the time these cards are pointing that now is the time to show yourself capable which means with these cards that you haven't that you haven't went there to make friends you haven't went there to be liked by anybody but 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 your boss you are there to make money so basically focus on that focus on doing your job and start concern yourself with what others would say or think about you for that matter and as soon as you start focusing on um on these um on these tasks or rather like substantial events which are going to make your life more predictable more solid and reliable you are to see that you will start building up your own personal domain there right where uh, you are to adopt a, a very very comfortable position and with the four of pentacles as well maybe you're going to sit on a wealth financial wealth so if we're talking about career here should you take on the um should you prove yourself uh, very capable to take on an important matter and important projects and in order to do so you know you should disregard completely what your uh, colleagues are thinking of you what they want from you and so on and so forth these cards may speak for a raise all right they they definitely could show that uh, you will have the prerequisite to ask for a, a bigger cut and for a, a bigger salary if you are negotiating a, a new job definitely you can do so as well in that case maybe the person or the company who is to hire you are going to be in a tight spot they will really really need you and you can twist their hands asking for a, a better cut as a salary now uh, <clears throat> The next card which comes around that is going to be the uh, temperance which is how you should approach the situation and that is um, attending to every single aspect of the undertaking and as well attending to the chores with the same enthusiasm as with the exciting enterprises there or with the exciting tasks. The temperance card also points that everybody has their opinion in my country we do have this expression that uh, the opinions uh, the event of opinion is like an ass everybody has it and everybody cares it you know but that doesn't mean that it is for that you have to kind of comply with it so the temperance here asks you to basically Mm, allow people to talk what they have to say you know don't try to confront them in any way because this card points that everybody will have their opinion you're gonna have people who likes you you're gonna have people who doesn't like you as well that should not be something you have to be um, 
feeling poignant about. On top of that, uh, the temperance in this position does point that you have to attend to the matter with a, uh, um, a big sense of consciousness and as well devotion. Uh, I repeating myself once again, but this is just the temperance and adopt a, a very balanced position, which means that once again, attending to the both side of the coin, the both side of the matters as well with the chores and with the amusing tasks. Uh, <clears throat> solidarity as well is something you can show in a sense, however, only if that solidarity is going to make you feel good. Okay, so you should not be, um, you should not show it solidarity and compassion only to boost the opinion of the others for yourself, but you should show it only if once again that is gonna make you feel good. Now the accompanied card here that is going to be the King of Swords, and so by you showing a, a balanced position, you know where you find the right approach to attend to the matters presented to you with the with the emperor and uh, you know to tackle with them in a very calm and and, and kind of humble fashion uh, minding your own business and so on and so forth uh, then you will start to see things so rather like you are going to start analyze things in a more deeper manner additionally to that you are going to show yourself as a uh, or those whom, whom you are depend from are going to place a label of, um, well, the word just elude me, guys. Uh, well, the word is authority, really, but respect, all right? So you are going to be well respected from everybody around you, seeing that actually you are there to do your job, you are there, you know, to do your dating, for example, and you don't care what anybody else think of it. Another example regarding a relationship, you know, you start dating with this person whom your friends doesn't like and they, you know, they basically are constantly talking noxious um, words, addressing that guy or addressing you, dating with him. Well, taking, you know, that the, these statements and honoring them in a sense, you know, kind of like not trying to oppose them in any way, but in the same time moving with your own personal direction that you have chosen is going to breed huge respect into the people around you. Additionally to that, the King of Swords, it does point that acute analysis is going to reveal you the way out of difficulty. Basically, should you put the um, needed devotion and uh, solidity into that, project at work, work, you know, or a dating cycle and so on and so forth. Whatever issue you do have there, should you be calm about it and approach it with a, a very balanced fashion, uh, give, uh, give yourself time to analyze the subject and the matter definitely is going to uh, reveal the way out of difficulty. But uh, with these cards are pointing that as well, should you not be frantic and panicking, regarding any kind of minor trifles that are happening around, your actions definitely are going to be very, very effective. So that week, it is the week, guys, like I said, you shine at your career as someone capable whom actions are very effective, regardless what your colleagues are thinking of. Now, another example of that is, let's say your boss comes with uh, a project very difficult, and says, you know, what you guys think about it, you know, and everybody thinks one thing, you think completely different and your idea is taken very well from your boss or so everybody is jealous to you, how you could have basically strained from the team and how you could present something that you are, that nobody else gets credit for and so on and so forth. But that idea is going to prove itself uh, very effective. And from there, you are going to show very uh, solid person, very stable, that you know what you're talking about, you know what you're doing, you're going to show consistency and structure into your plans. And as I said, you're gonna show that you are the man.
So don't be afraid to speak up your mind. That is my that is my point here of looking at these cards. And same thing goes relationship wise. So at the end, what we do have for you Capricorns, that is to be the final outcome of growth, which is the five of swords. And I will need one more card just to see um, where this is going because the five of swords could be interpreting few different ways here which are very which have a huge differentiate uh, differentiation from each other and the ten of wands it is the accompanied card so basically your limits capabilities and your positions are going to be lifted definitely we're talking about uh, some sort of a uh, a promotion or some sort of entrusting here from your boss or from your partner into relationship where then now where they now are gonna feel themselves kind of like very uh, confident to give you additional uh, tasks which are um, more difficult than the previous tasks and uh, uh, it, it will depend how you manage with those tasks, all right, but that could definitely be a prerequisite for a promotion raise, like we said with the previous cards. And uh, with these couple of cards, they really uh, reek of power, of authority, all right? The very least, this capability you show is going to put you in a, more, in a more authoritarian state than the others that you are working with. You are not gonna. You are no longer gonna work with them, but they are gonna work for you in one or another way. Even if you are in the same kind of like department, and even if you are in the same kind of position, so you are all engineers. Ultimately, what you say is gonna have heavier weight than what they say. Or I, you, I hope that you get what I mean. But with these cards as well, <clears throat> it seems that. Uh, people that are involved into your situation also will want to kind of uh, earn your please in the sense of that they will try to please you in any way they can so you are more milder regarding them and you become friend basically everybody will want to become a friend with you because you proved yourself very very capable and at the end, on top of that, there are going to be some sort of an awesome opportunity for you to burst through all right but that opportunity with these cards is going to involve you um i don't want to say hurting other involved people into it but more like forlorning some people which are counting on you should you take on that opportunity or not that depends entirely on you capricorns but the very least at the end guys i mean you are going to be on a position much better than position right now i hope it is something you want because at the end of the day these last couple of cards are showing that you're gonna be very very busy i mean very very busy especially if we're talking about career um you wanted to show yourself capable so your boss can entrust you with more projects or more important projects so you can raise your salary well there you go and i hope you can handle it i mean time wise not performance wise because it seems that you are quite well performance wise but what i'm talking about is time wise probably you will have to stay extra hours at work you know and you will have to manage more stressful situations and so on and so forth but isn't that that everybody wants into their career i mean people gives money for responsibility not for anything else so you are going to have it here. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Capricorn star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Capricorns. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And and on the very front page of it, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings. Right signing out now. See you next time. Bye.